Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I want to talk about pH test kits and the the two types or the one type that everybody seems to be using, at least on the internet. All right, so I have been having a lot of problems with my soft water, my soft water Caradina um, tanks. They are not breeding. I had I had some breeding, at least in my crystal reds and in my um, blue steels, but they really stopped breeding for me, and I started having die-offs, um, one one or two at a time with um, my crystal reds, and I've been trying to nail down the issue. And you know, I do you know, and then I do what everybody else does, and I run the gamut of tests, right, of testing pH, ammonia, and nitrites and nitrates. Um, you know, those things always come out perfect. But the one thing that's really strange is the pH, okay? And on the right-hand side, you see a um, API pH test kit, right? And on the right side, I'm sorry, on the left side, you see you have the Sierra um, pH test kit, okay? And because I really can't figure, I haven't been able to figure out why my crystal reds are, are dying one at a time. I've tried many things. Obviously, I do the water changes like everybody else does, 10% weekly, add the, um, the uh, salty shrimp, you know, GH, um, salt back in minerals back in and you know i have it's been you know fairly okay but every every now and then you know i would start getting a couple a week worth of deaths um i noticed it really become a problem when i had shrimp links dying right when that happens that's not good right so um i think what made me move, question the pH was the fact that right at the, you know, the, 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 when I test the pH and it says, and you look at this right now, it says, I, I see the reading as 6.4 on API. When I test RO water, right, my RO water coming out of my, out of my unit that on that day, it's, six okay but once i start to aerate it and let it sit for a couple of days right and i aerate it but i circulate it with a power head the ph increases not decreases and i am not a science person but i asked somebody who's in the field of science and that person said that it actually should go down because the mixing, the circulating of the water will pull in the carbon dioxide in the air and lower the pH, not increase the pH. So one day I'm watching Mark's shrimp tank videos and he was using, he was trying out a new pH test kit called, you know, from Sierra. So I decided to buy one and I did some, I did a pH test. I tested the same water from my crystal reds, right? And it showed that I had a pH of six, right? Meanwhile, so I decided, let me test, test my RO water that's been sitting for a couple of days now and find out what the pH of that RO water that's circulating. I tested it and it was five with the Sierra kit, okay? So that leads me to believe that the API pH test kit, when it comes to the low range, tends to be incorrect. As if your pH is below six, right? Or below six or six maybe, or slightly below six, it tends to show you the wrong reading, right? And so another thing I tested today, so you know how I, I said I was been having problems with um, my my soft water shrimp. 
Well, as you all know, if you've seen the videos, all right, I have a filter, I have a box, an under gravel, Asian style under gravel box in my, in that tank. And it had um, ADA Amazonia version two in it. And it's been about, it's not even been a year yet, but originally I had, I have been running power heads on it, right? To basically suck the water through the soil and stuff like that. Well, with, with, when I tested the pH and it was with the Sierra and it was at six, you know, I thought it was okay, but I'm getting deaths, right? So again, I was watching Mark's shrimp tank video and he, he basically says, if you're starting to get deaths, you know, one, one, one or two here every day, then it's most likely your pH, um, creeping up. So I decided, okay, even though it hasn't been a year, most likely the power head has become, made it too, made the under gravel soil box too efficient. And maybe it's, and because I just started using RO water maybe a few months ago, you know, maybe like, you know, for a few months, maybe the, the fact that when I was using tap water, it, it really drained the filter, the, the soil. So I, you know, that was my, my thinking at the time. So yesterday I replaced the soil box with brand new ADA Amazonia 2 soil, right? And did a test of um, the ammonia and the pH. Ammonia is very high, okay? But I'm using Prime, like Mark Shrimp Tank, and it's for real. The shrimps are not dead. It's very high. I'll show you right now with how high it is. TAT is the API um, ammonia test. It's about one part per million right now, okay? So going back to this, and then I tested the pH. If you look on the, the pH says it's 6.4, just like it was um, prior to the box being changed, right? With API. And then I tested it with the Sierra. And Sierra, you gotta read it from the top, right? So from the top, it's reading 5.5 which is lower, which is what I expect when you put brand new Amazonia soil into the tank, right? That it would lower the pH and the pH was, if, if it was at six, it probably dropped it down a little bit lower, all right? Which is at 5.5, which is what I want. But the API test kit is not right and it's misleading and you know, I know everybody uses it, but I think for the low end, low end of the pH, you need to get um, the Sierra test kits because it just is it just not right. It just, I mean, the fact that I'm testing, I'm testing um, RO water with zero TDS, all right, zero TDS because I run it through two, two DIs, you know that, um, and it's reading, it's reading, you know. It's basically reading um, 6.4 or 6.4. That's just wrong, right? It should be, if any, if anything, it should be neutral, right? Because that's that's what RO water stripped of everything should be like neutral, maybe six, right? At at, at most six, and then when you circulate it, it pulls it pulls the car carbon out of the air and bonds it, right? And so that it should increase. De I mean, it should decrease the pH, but API shows the pH as 6.4. Meanwhile, when I test it with Sierra, it says it's at five, which I agree it should be, all right? Then that's just logical and uh, science driven, right? So just wanted to make this video because I know everybody uses these API test kits. I think the pH is the pH for low end is not accurate and it shouldn't be um it shouldn't be used we should you should use the sierra test kit which takes the ph down to 
4.5, I believe. Um, let me see. I'll zoom in. Yeah, 4.5. So it's much, it, it has a much uh, higher low range, if, if that makes sense, right? So I just want to let everybody know. Um, hopefully this helps. Um, and I hope my, my shrimps like the 5.5 pH because I think that's what they need to to uh, to be at least be happy and thriving. So I know my blue steel look better. Um, they look more how can I say this jumpy in terms. So they're look they're they seem to be more active. Yeah, what what is happening? What's been happening is that they've been they've been looking lethargic. They don't attack food. They've never really attacked food, and um, that was really kind of concerning because. You know, I watch all the all these other guys. Their videos, their their shrimps are attacking food, and they're jumpy and they're moving and they're you know picking and and all that other stuff. And mine, they stay where they are. They pick where they are and they move a little bit here, but that's it. Not much. They're very kind of lethargic. Um, I'll probably I'll probably do a video about them, but I wanted to get this thing out. I've been meaning to do a video about these two test kits for a while so um thank you everybody um if you like this kind of video please hit the subscribe button um hit the like button if you like this video so i can get more people to see this this kind of this this video about this ph difference ph kids difference and hit the like button and um if you disagree or don't or agree with everything i'm doing you know please write a comment i will respond back okay guys Thank you very much. See you next time.